But I'm at the wrestler backstage. I've never done this before in my life, mate. You're joking. I'm a pacifist. <laughs> what, what did you give yourself? A, 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 Something to do with my life. <laughs> Foz is no spring chicken, but he is in good shape. Please go on, Foz, and win. He's a grandfather. He's got nine kids. He's got nine kids? Yeah. Go on, Foz! <laughs> go on, Foz! He's nearly got as many tattoos as he has. Most unconsciously, we found we'd anaesthetized ourselves against the tarmac. Perhaps by osmosis, we'd learned what every Australian male knows, or needs to know, that adversity can only be celebrated. Or, if you're thirsty, have a drink. Their journey continues at the same time next week here on BBC One. Next tonight, closer to home, Paddington Green. Australian male now on BBC One, some strong language from the men down under. Continuing quest for the true Australian male, we flew to Catherine, right up in the north of the very aptly named Northern Territory. As Australia has already taught us, adversity must be dealt with head on. And if your trolley has a bad wheel, don't send for two actors. Blokes think English people are wusses, apparently. I don't know why they would think that. 
do they? Well, that's, you know, I've yet to I've, hear. I've, exactly, I haven't yet been. Mind you, only in jest, I suppose they said things like, even our own crew have been guilty of it. Of, of what? Of calling us, you know, wussy poms. Oh, well, I get called a wuss in England. <laughs> <laughs> There's bull riders in Catherine, a crocodile hunter in Timber Creek, and in the fast and loose gold town of Kalgoorlie, the men are men, and so are some of the women. That Perry that Springs Reserve. That's on your way to Mitchfield. Seven o'clock. Juniors are $15 a head. Rodeo night, Catherine. A big deal on the sporting calendar and a real social event round here. These young cowboys follow the punishing rodeo circuit for not much prize money. By day, they muster cattle on the huge ranches all around here. Hard graft. You'd think after a week of that, they'd enjoy a quiet night in. But no, they'd rather do this. <laughs> They've got to stay on for eight seconds. And these bulls can weigh up to half a ton. They're really tough sport, actually. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's like they, they reckon it's rated the, the roughest sport in the world, actually. Yeah, I mean, you know, I mean it's, not, it's, not like all, yeah. it's not like you're all kitted out in body armor like they are for American football or anything like yeah. that. We've got, got, we got a vest. We've got a vest. Is that what made out of yeah. Kevlar, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Sort of padding that, like a hard padding there. Just protects well, us from getting stomped on yeah, like broken like bones and that sort of stuff. stuff yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, because what had happened is a ball would step on you and, and it'd break your bone and then it'd puncture your lung or something like that, mm. which is a, that's pretty common. Oh, It'll be positive. If you're intimidated by that ball at all, like he'll show you pretty much all the time, you know. Cody Tapp is the rising young star of the rodeo. He's 15. We're going to score for Cody Tapp very shortly. How would you find this kind of life, you know? Because when I mean, you yeah. travel from rodeo to rodeo... Best life you can have on a yeah. good life. Yeah? yeah. More, a lot of travelling. A lot of travel. good yeah. people and that. You meet a lot of friends. <laughs> Get loads of chicks. Oh, yeah, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Every radio away, you've got about five on the line. Yeah. Yeah, that doesn't work out. for me, eh? It doesn't work for me. You get more sore with them sheilas and bulls. Today's journey takes us to the enormous homestead of English aristo Will Burrell. He's going to show us another of Australia's manly pursuits, catching the nation's most popular fish. This will cheer you up. We're going to do a bit of barramundi fishing. <laughs> <laughs> barramundi is, like, more common here than cod is in England. Everyone has Everyone's barramundi. Talk, it's talked about. It's just talked about. There's bars named after. Barra Bar, the Barra Cafe, the, the Barra, Barra House, Cafe. the Barra Run, the Barra This. The Barramundi Trophy. Yeah, exactly. The Barramundi Run. Of course, you it's known locally as the Barramundi Monday. 
<laughs> they advertise it on the telly. Can you imagine advertising a fish on the telly? <laughs> Buy a Dover Soul. <laughs> they go all misty eyed, don't they? Go, oh, the Barry, Barry. Oh, what a beautiful table fish. <laughs> Will Burrell has created the ultimate playground. You can roar through the scrub on a motorbike, helicopter water ski, or if you're really tough, just go fishing. Is it meant to go that far? You know it's a barramundi because as soon as they hit, they they jump out of the water and they they dance a bit like a mini marlin. Okay, keep them interested. Got to appetise them. Nice. Uh, the other thing is aim, aim high, aim for the sky when you're casting. This river's full of fish! <laughs> <laughs> you know, me. Just, just feel the flick. I hate to say it, but I really don't fancy your choices. <laughs> I always thought fishing was stupid anyway. <laughs> what have I done here on my string? That's, string. that's line, I think. <laughs> it's what? <laughs> Look. <laughs> Look. <laughs> I caught yourself. Myself. Well done. At least we got something. Jesus. As beautiful as this tranquil gorge is, it's not the first place you'd expect to find an English aristocrat. Yeah, I know. My, uh, I had a great grandfather who was uh, governor general here uh, at, the, at the time of um, uh, when Sydney and Melbourne were having a bit of a dispute as to which should be the capital. And uh, I think they settled that. And uh, great grandpa came up with the idea of establishing Canberra. We've got a recording of great grandma uh, on a 78 record uh, cutting the ribbon. It says, uh, I hereby name this place. Canberra. <laughs> the croc. It's beautiful. Isn't it? Uh, look at his horrid fat back legs just <laughs> hanging yeah. either side of his tail. We did at one stage have a uh, rather large saltwater crocodile in here. Uh. But we took him out. We, he, he was what's known as relocated. <laughs> uh, he's uh, now having a nice holiday up at the Wyndham Crocodile Farm. Mm -hmm prior to becoming a pair of boots. <laughs> <laughs> Could be. Or a nice wallet or two. Yeah. You can probably make a rather fine set of uh, For a beef little stay. Oh, this is rather delicious, isn't it? Oh, Bob. And an indoor bath as well, if you want to. That's fantastic. I've lain in that bath before now and um, had bubbles up to my chin and watched the lightning storms at the end of the year. Oh, and, uh, wow, yeah. that must be spectacular from here. Right, bubbles up to your chin? What were you doing in there? <laughs> <laughs> but a lot of fish in this water, too, down here. A lot of yes, fish. Yes, I can. What sort? Barra? Well, we get the barras down here, yeah. What a surprise. <laughs> Have you, seen a, have you seen a barry yet? No. <laughs> no, not a real one. We've eaten quite a few. Well, he's stopped eating them. Really. <laughs> I'm on a go slow with the barry. Uh, <laughs> very good. So how many acres have you got here? This, uh, the whole property is just short of a million acres, um, which is a big stretch of dirt. It's, it's roughly the same size as all of the land inside of the M25 motorway. So okay. it's, a, it's a fair swag of dirt. This is a cheeky question, please don't be offended, but if, if your great-grandfather was the Governor-General, do you think you have a slight proprietorial feeling as you uh, stri stride around a million acres? Well, well, I mean, obviously well, a million acres, no, but... Well, um... no, I don't think so. I mean, uh, golly, there's uh, 
There's all sorts of things right now more pressing than that. Okay, I've offended you. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Should we feed the crocodile? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>